Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome to a much better review from last time. Basically last video I kind of didn't do too good of a review of the Air Max 90 in the undefeated green colorway. Sorry about that. This is the green, the green and white colorway from the undefeated collab, that's what I should say. Uh, as you guys can see from the last video, I swapped it out for green laces. That's because... Uh, I can't put it away, but the little uh, thing, I still don't know the name. I should have looked it up right before I started making this video, but I didn't. The little uh, undefeated, it said undefeated here. Um, it was on a, one of the shoes. It was kind of smudged up. In fact, hold up. Let me see if it's, yeah, it's right here. Let me uh, pull out these extra laces and stuff and see if it's. Is it this one? It's the other one. Oh, God. This is a bad start. All right. Here it is. As you guys can see, the undefeated does not look all too good. It, uh, that the D and the E kind of don't look that good. You can see it's kind of smudged up and messed up a bit, but. Uh, I was like, eh, I'll still wear it, but I was like, let me take it off. No one's gonna really notice if I, no one's really gonna care if I'm not wearing those. I hopefully will get another pair of these. I can't, I really kind of want the blue or the black and yellow colorway, or the, either of the blues. Those look good. But, uh, I swap. When I was unlacing it, I was like, I'll try out the green laces, and it adds a really nice pop of color. Adds a bit more extra to the shoe. I really like it. And on the tips of the laces, on this one, it has the Nike swoosh. And on this one, it says undefeated focus. There you go. And, uh, it's, this is, a. Uh, the first ever Air Max 90 I've ever had. In fact, it's the first ever Air Max model I've ever had. I've never had a pair of Air Maxes before these, and I'm very glad these are my first because the leather quality is extremely good on these compared to the, all the Air Maxes that I've uh, seen in stores. Uh, they usually don't have leather on the toe box, and it's really good leather. Uh, Along with that, like all the leather up until this, like around the heel in your ankle area, this is kind of a bit tougher leather. It's not as soft as the rest, but it's still very, very, uh, very good. Along with that, on the back here, instead of it saying Nike, whatever it says on the back, I actually don't know off the top of my head. Because again, first ever Air Maxes has the undefeated logo right here in that green that's all around the rest of the shoe. Uh, and also, from what I've been told, this is missing uh, the little badge that usually Air Maxes have, Air Max 90s have right here. That'll say Air Max. Uh, this has an extra layer of leather right here, as you guys can see on the mud guard in this uh, green color that's also on the heel. Or, uh, the sole, sole, sorry, on the sole of the shoe, right here, and then these two areas, it's still the same, uh, bottoms, it's, uh, even the tongue is leather, I don't know if you guys can see that all too well, the tag, I believe, is the same, basically, this shoe is an amazing Air Max 90, like, it's really well made, I, uh, I really don't have much else to say. I just felt like the last video I did such a bad job, so I wanted to do it again. I still don't feel like I'm doing that good of a job. Uh, these do fit true to size. They are a bit more snug than regular uh, shoes. They're a bit more snug, but you. Sh and, but I'm wide footed, and it still fits me. So uh, I, w I was trying them on. I was going to wear them. But the weather is so shit, I was gonna, so I'm gonna save these. Probably I'll wear them next week. Man. Also, the uh, insole has the undefeated in that same green. Man. I, uh, I guess that's really it. 
I feel like this video is at least better than the last one, so I'm gonna put it out. Um, I guess, please like, share, and subscribe, and please have a wonderful, wonderful day.